baby is wearing a container on her head <laughs> that I was eating chocolate from a minute ago. <laughs> but there's no more chocolate, so. It's gone. So it's useless it's to me useless. now. <laughs> <laughs> now today we are going to talk to you all about, like, kind of a serious topic. Um, it is Pride Month, yep. and we've been, like, talking about how we make so much gay content and haven't even acknowledged Pride Month on our channel. I know. Yeah. So... We decided that we wanted to share our coming out stories in honor of Pride Month. Yay! You can go first. I was going to say you can go no, first. No, you can go first. But yours is really cute. No, you go first. You go first. You go first. Oh my gosh. Okay, I get to go yours first. Yours is cute too. Mine's is cute too. Mine's. <laughs> Mine's. Mine's is cute. some crazy water. What? The <laughs> broom. Oh, our cat <laughs> likes to drink the condensation water that comes off of the air conditioning. He's really obsessed uh, with water. Yeah, like any running water, he gets really excited about. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, I literally have been out since I was since about... Since the womb. Pretty much, <laughs> but I acknowledged it when I was six years old. Okay. I honestly did not know what that was at the age of six, but yeah. when I was in school, there was this cute little girl named Emily, mm -hmm. and she was from France, and mm. she's really, she really, French she, yeah, she really did. Oh, cute. That's okay. how, that's how you know, you're like, setting it all up. Yeah. Setting the stage as a French beauty. Yeah, she's adorable, mm -hmm. but she's really shy, mm -hmm. and she kept herself mostly, but I was like, drawn. And at first I was like, oh yeah, I want to make a friend, you know, and I'm like, oh, but I want to give her flowers. I think you want to give my friends flowers, right? Yeah. So I go to my mom. That's like such a cute way. I need to buy this girl flowers. Yeah. Her flowers. Yeah. And I would try to talk to her and stuff, like, but she's like, really, really shy. And I got like teased hardcore in school, you know, because, you know, I liked her. Um, but I want to give her some flowers. And I told my mom, and my mom was like, oh, you probably shouldn't give a little girl a flower. I'm like, why? What's wrong with that? You know? And grandma's kind of like, oh, yeah, you do what you want, really. I did end up giving her a flower, but what I did not realize is that I embarrassed her really bad in the entire class. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Like, you did it in front of the class? No. I did it secretly, like, outside, <laughs> but then there was somebody who was, like, eavesdropping around, and they said, Nelson gave a flower! And I was uh, like, Is this getting outed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was really... You got outed. Yeah, How old were you again? You are seven? Six. Six. You got outed at the age of six. I got outed twice in my life. I got outed at the age of six, and then I got outed by my brother later on. <laughs> but yeah, and then I was like, it was. I felt really bad though, because I embarrassed her really bad. And then unfortunately, it wasn't like a life, like a like Hallmark or those cute little movies that people are like, it's just like a movie. She was very, she was she was flattered, but she got really embarrassed and she hated me. So. <laughs> Yeah, but I got her to talk to me. Oh, well, at least yeah. we had a conversation out of that hatred. Yeah, it was oh really gosh. interesting. Oh, my God. Our cat is getting into, like, a bucket right now. <laughs> so If fun. we could turn this camera, I would show you, but we can't. But. No. But, like, are you okay there, buddy? But anyway, yeah, so then I was like, okay, well... Apparently, mm -hmm. liking girls isn't good. Shouldn't be doing that. Uh -huh. And I tried to date some guys. So you, like, shoved it down? Yeah, I shoved it down. Yeah. And I just had to date guys, but I broke up with them, like, within a week or less because I was bored. <laughs> and it wasn't until, like, later when I was, like, 17 that I thought one of my friends' girlfriends was really attractive in the way that I was like, oh, yeah, you cute girl. Like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. So, yeah, that had a second awakening. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. That one went much better, at least. <laughs> that one went better. Did you talk to her? I never told her. She's a friend of mine, too. Uh, but I, I was like, hey, friend. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was like, should I say something? But she's dating a friend of mine, so I'm like, no. Right. Like, no, no. So in general, that's a no-no. No, no it's, it's, mm. a big, it's a big no-no. It's a big no-no. It's a big no-no. Yeah. Yeah. But then, like, you got into a relationship. One kind of relationship. Gosh, this is just going to be doom and gloom. So you, can just, yeah. you can tell as much or as little. So as then when I was 23, I apparently, I was trying to ask out a girl, and I had a friend of mine that was interested in me, and I had no idea that we were dating. Um, so I'm trying to like, I had no idea that we were dating. No idea. So, so I told like this no female friend, this girlfriend of mine, that was a girl and a friend, that, hey, I really like so-and-so, I'm going to ask her out. And she's like, we're dating. I'm like... We are? 
Yeah, she's like, you and me are dating. And yeah. Leia was like, no, previous before. And here's the thing. This is the same girl that was like, I don't date. I give no dating clauses. I'm just kind of like, what She's like, game of friends, too. Yeah, she's game of friends, too. So you're just like, hey, we're, yeah. we're, we're like, friendies. Yeah, and she, came to, she went to Wellesley College and everything like that, which apparently is a sign. Like, most girls are going to Wellesley are gay. Because uh, it's a not girl school, is that why? I think that might be like kind of a stereotype, but I think, like, most girls have at least some level of attraction I feel to like they girls. do and off topic but I will say that the, the women at Wellesley are very attractive <laughs> so when I went to the graduation I was like oh yeah but apparently <laughs> I was in a relationship then so oh no <laughs> it's like oh shoot like a relationship. <laughs> a relation. yeah so that unfortunately didn't end up happening because I was like oh great I'm in a relationship like this is great yeah it was but uh, you're already like pretty out by then I was by the out the time that you got into that I was, relationship I was out but I was miserable <laughs> Uh, it was awful. like in it yeah i was miserable yeah. in the relationship but i was like mm-hmm. seeing all my friends with their girlfriends or significant others all really happy and i'm like oh it must be nice and when i went to my my friend's wedding and everything that's when i said to myself you know enough is enough i wanted to end the relationship before my friends like you can't break up on new year's you can't break up on valentine you can't do all this stuff i'm just like oh my gosh and like you have to find a good time like there is no good time yeah you just do it right yeah. so i came back for my friend's wedding and I was, like, getting ready to, and then she's like, oh, we need to talk on video chat. I'm like, I got a really bad feeling about this. Why we got to talk on video chat? She's just bursting out crying, and she's like, I'm so obligated to be with you. And I was, I was like, o- she said, I was obligated to be with you. Yeah. If you couldn't hear that. Yeah. So I was like, oh, man, I wanted to end things. I don't want you to get to end things. But I was so mad. Yeah. Because I'm like, you're serious? Like, because... I could have gone out with that girl mm. from way back then. Yeah. It's just, yeah, not super great. I actually got reconnected with that girl later on, too. It's just like, yeah, I liked you. I'm like, yeah, I like you, too. She's, like, in Sicily now. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> like, look at that chance. That's going But anyway, on. so, yeah, we, that was a whole relation uh, shite, for lack of a better word. It was awful. Yeah. And then I just decided, you know, I'm not dating <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. But then I got to meet your loveliness. Yeah, and then we met. But yeah, so you were definitely out before you got with your last. Yeah, my my brother outed me. She's not a girlfriend. She's just a whatever she was. Your kind of girlfriend. The 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 whatever she is. But anyway, so my brother though, when I was technically with her, he outed me in front of his side of the family's grandparents, and that Mm -hmm. was great. Like my grandmother was like sitting with clothes, and as soon as she found out, she went. I'm like, it's not contagious. <laughs> it's not like people say you lick a cupcake, you're you, gay. Although cupcakes are delicious. You lick a oh you, you the frosting. lick a, a yeah, cupcake. Yeah, you lick the frosting, frosting. and I'm not, I've never just licked the frosting off a cupcake. You know that uh-huh. was like a big thing that they were saying. Yeah, <laughs> but so uh, yeah, but so I was about for a very long time, yeah. and you know, hmm. yeah. This, so you identify as. A lesbian. Oh, I am 100% a lesbian. Yeah, There's just to a, clear that yeah, up in I, case you were, like, you all were wondering. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a lesbian. i to make sure my, show. my ears are straight. There's nothing bi about Even this. Even though I'm not, so at least have the ears, <laughs> <laughs> ears straight. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a grade A lesbian. <laughs> yeah, I'm a grade A lesbian. <laughs> not that anyone's grading. Yeah. Do they call them gold stars or something like that? I don't know. Oh, gold one. stars. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of controversy around calling people gold stars. Yeah. Because, like, well, are you saying people are, like, less than if they've been with a guy? Like, that's kind of. That's pretty actually terrible. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. So it's, like, very controversial to say I can see how that would that. be. Yeah. Yeah, just like they have like in the community that you know, oh, well, bisexual uh, women are very dangerous because they can just flip their switch and be done with you and won't be with the other opposite sex. Yeah, there That's are a lot of people who have a lot to say about bisexuals. Yeah. In the <laughs> lesbian community. Yeah, I've I've heard some <laughs> interesting stories. We'll say for another time, but yeah. So I've been out for a very very long time. We joke about coming out of the womb gay because like I literally was just like no interesting guys. My mom was like, let's sit you with the neighbor. A little old me, like, at six. No, I don't want some guys. <laughs> some boys. Ew. No thanks. No thanks. Where's some dress? No thanks. <laughs> Where's some girl I can give a flower to? Yes! <laughs> yes! So cute. That's and a really cute thing to want to do. I know. I yeah. just really want to give her a flower, and yeah. I didn't realize that that would, like, imp- she was really, like, cute and, ha- like, happy about it, but yeah. then when it got out, everyone was, like, really teasing her really badly mm. and bullying, which I was not okay with. But back then, it was, like... 
had, especially at that age, you know, you're mm-hmm. trying to figure yourself out at, like, six. So I was like, how do you know you're, like, not into guys? I'm like, bro, when I was six years old, I want to give a girl a flower. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> romance thing. Like, it's not like you have, like, any kind of sexual feelings at that age. Yeah, no, right, of not. course, but it's just like, oh, like, this romantic act that I could think of doing. Yeah. Like, I want to do it for a girl. Yeah, and it was just one flower. It was a purple flower. I was mm. very proud of myself. That's cute. Even though my mom was like, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> but she's trying to protect me, but yeah. And she's Catholic? Um, I no, of? not really. Oh, But, okay. you know, what was it, like, in the, yeah, it was in the 80s, late 80s, so. 90s-ish, so it was kind of like. Like in the 90s, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably 90s. Because you were six? Yeah, I was six. That's like in, like yeah, it's like in the 90s. Yeah, it's like in the 90s. But it was still like, kind of like, you know. Because even, even when I was older in school and stuff like that, I had my hair short, I wore clothes. I got mistaken for a guy like a lot of times. Like, you wore what clothes? You're like, I had my wear, hair short and I wore clothes. I'm like, I hope you Oh, no, sorry. Wearing. Like, um, the collar up, like, uh, era. Um, oh, like eyes the button up? Yeah, uh huh. Oh, okay. And like other things like that, too. You so popped it, your collar? Yeah, and I like <laughs> sexually confused a lot of my female friends. <laughs> You're like the OG Ruby Rose. Is she younger than us? She's, like, close to our age. I think she's one year younger, older than me. <laughs> okay. I think. So she's a little older, maybe. Yeah, I will know. We think. That stuff know. was crazy, though. People be like, my name, I'm not going to say it, obviously, but they mm-hmm. would be like, how is that a male's name? You know, like, you're that mm-hmm. confused about it, but yeah. <laughs> this is so interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 13-year-old me had some fun with that. Yeah. Someone, like, said you look like Ruby Rose, too. Oh, yeah. I've gotten that a lot when I went to go to the ice cream shop down the street. She was, like, so, like... She was, like, ah! She was, like, fangirling She was! You. She almost took my ice cream for the one, too. And her coworker was, like, okay, okay, can't stop the drooling. Just give her the ice cream. And she's, like, I'm sorry. I'm just such a fan of Ruby Rose. I'm, like... You know what? I, I told you what I got. Someone said that I look like. Yeah, go ahead. So I was driving to work. And I worked at, like, a local theme park. I'm just, like, trying to drive in, la, la, la. I had to drive through, like, a security gate to go park. And the guy working security, he's like, oh, wow, you look just like Kim Kardashian. And I was like, Kim Kardashian? Is that a compliment? And his other coworkers like, oh, yeah, from him it is. And then, like, I look up a picture of Kim Kardashian, and it's this picture I was going around of her, like, crying, like, and I was like, this is what I look like. <laughs> Just for the record, you do not look anything like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> like, if I could get a picture and put it, like, side by side, oh there's no way. No. No, you definitely do not. I think you might have been drunk or something. <laughs> he was drinking on the job. He's like, yeah, I was, yeah maybe uh, stoned or something. I don't let know. me know, y'all, who you think I look like. Does she look like Kim Kardashian? Do I, I look like her? Yes or no? And if not, who else? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, people are interesting when they tell you when you look like somebody. I like my the person who said I look like Rose better because if she said I looked any, like something else, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> one time though, I got called Justin like look like, a Justin Bieber look alike. I was so offended. <laughs> he's like a lesbian icon though. I don't think he is anymore. No, I haven't seen him in a while. I don't know. I think he'll always be. But right. he had like that. I don't want, like hair like his. Yeah, that's stuff. true. Yeah. And both like, oh, okay, that's great. <laughs> Although I, that's better than Kim Kardashian, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, so. Go! Do you want to tell my story for me? <laughs> oh, I'm just doing all the talking in this episode. So she's just so chill. <laughs> So she's got one of, the, in my opinion, the cutest coming out stories. And hers is also... It comes in, like, parts, kind of. By the way, I identify as... Not, right now, I'm identifying as pansexual. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I identify as bisexual. But right now, I'm identifying as... I've gone back and forth. Yeah. Right now, I'm identifying as pansexual. And, like, you'll understand why when you hear um, the whole story. But yeah, the reason we put we still put like lesbian couple is because obviously like we're a couple that's like two women, so I consider us a lesbian couple, but I don't identify fully as lesbian, even though I prim- primarily date women. That's true. Yeah, she was like on the like uh, my sister who she's bisexual, but she's more on the male dating men. Yeah, you're more towards the women's. Well. <laughs> we want to get back to the story. Oh but, yeah. But like quickly, I find like the guys that I have gotten close to. Um, 
they're like usually they have like a ton of female friends so i think i'm like pretty emotional i need like deep emotional connection and so it's a lot easier for me to build that with women but like when i have a, a guy that i'm interested in he's like oh yeah like all my best friends are women and so like they understand like a lot of the kind of way that women are they're very comfortable being around women yeah yeah yep so anyway do you, do you want me to start? Do you want, okay, okay, okay. You start, but I'll, I'll, I'll jump start. in. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cute. Yeah. So, I mean, I first realized I was into women when I was watching... Sailor Moon! Yeah. This is I, great. This and is I was favorite. in the fourth grade at the time. That's when they had it on Cartoon Network. Yeah. I didn't even know it was an anime. I was just like, oh my god, that's such a cool cartoon yeah, because they change, they change outfits all the time. Like, I noticed it was different from other cartoons because, yeah. like, other cartoons, they always wear the same outfit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But in yeah. Sailor Moon, they had, like, a different outfit each day um, when they weren't in their school uniforms. Anyway, um, so I was watching Sailor Moon, and it was my favorite show. Let's be honest. I mean, it was so good. You wake yeah. up in the morning. Like, I'm not an early riser, but I would get up in the morning wake to watch that. Wake up them. in the morning feeling mm-hmm. like watching mm-hmm. Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, it's so, like yeah, yeah. So, um, obviously, this is, like, the shitty English translation where they're, like, <laughs> everyone has different names and stuff like that. But um, mm. they brought in the character that became Sailor Uranus, who... They then called it Amara. Yeah, they call her Amara. But, like, everyone thought that she was a boy. Because she um, would wear a boy school uniform. And they had always seen her in her boy school uniform. So all the Sailor Scouts were like, oh, my gosh, she's so cute. She's... Or no, he, he's so sorry, cute. He, he's so cute. Even he's so Usagi handsome. was like. Yeah, they all were, like, after that chick. But didn't that know. That guy. That guy, <laughs> Yeah. And then I think it was in the very end of the episode that you see her walk in, and she, still wearing her male school uniform, but she has like just a white button down shirt, and then over her shoulder she's slinging a jacket, and um, and they could tell that she was a girl, and they're like, oh, she's a girl, and they're all like disappointed. They're like, all right. You know, they're like, oh, that's too, too bad. And I remember thinking, like, well, why do they all feel differently about her and I don't? She's so cute! Yeah. I was like, oh, I was like, I still have a crush on her, even though she's a girl. <laughs> so that was my first little awakening. That's so cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's her yeah. first kiss. It's so precious because it's like, you know, out of all of the anime you watch. And out of all the characters, it's Haruka, and it's just like... Yeah, yeah, or in that Amara. Amara. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, which is real weird. And, like, actually, you see them all the time. They made her and her supposed-to-be romantic partner into cousins in that show. But you see them all the time, like, touching hands and touching hands. And I remember, like, thinking, like, oh, my gosh, that's so special. Oh, my gosh, that's so sweet. Like, it was. It, I didn't have a cousin vibe from it because you weren't supposed to. Because no, like, weren't supposed to be cousins. No cousin vibe with that. But I mean, I wasn't. On the other hand, I wasn't like, oh my god, that's so like sexy or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, because you like think that. think that they're cousins. But I just saw them like touching each other's hands, and I was like, oh, yeah, like look touching, at them like, face. touching hands. Yeah. I feel like I do that a lot now. I like play with your hands. Oh, and absolutely. Stuff. So that's how I learned to show affection. Yeah. Was from Sailor Moon. First from Sailor Moon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, thank you, Sailor Moon, for existing. <laughs> thank you for existing. <laughs> yeah, you provided my yeah, gay awakening. <laughs> yeah. It's so cute. Yes. It's like, why do I not feel any different? Yeah. I'm like, I still kind of have a crush on that character. It doesn't really matter to me that she's a girl. So that's like kind of why I see myself as pansexual. Yeah. Because I'm just like, hmm, you're attractive, you're attractive. Like, it's not because of your gender. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then, I, as I grew up, I had, like, a little, like, kind of boyfriend and things like that. And then me and my kind of boyfriend broke up. 
um, but I like had kissed him, right? Mm -hmm. And so then when I was, so that was the first time I was when I was in fourth grade. Then when I was in the sixth grade is when I kissed a girl for the first time. And people think they're like, that's really young. Someone I was like telling the story to, she's like, that's really young to be kissing folks. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Um, but I was playing Truth or Dare, and me and my best friend kissed. And um, I remember thinking, like, oh, it's the same, like, when I kissed him, the boy I was with. So, yeah, a lot of my process has just been being, like, to me, like, there wasn't a difference. You know? It felt the same to me. Yeah. So, yeah. That's when I like first was like you know I think I like girls and I soon after told my mom yeah yeah and my mom used to be a teacher so she she saw all kinds of like kids shenanigans <laughs> and so she was like she was like well maybe you think that now but maybe you won't um later and I was just like mm. Mm. and we'll just like went on about my business and so I think that it wasn't I just kind of, like, let let it be, kind of, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. I just lived my life, was doing my thing, dating who I wanted to date. Yeah. Um, I had, like, I don't know if people want to hear more about my, like, shitty relationships. <laughs> They've already heard some of my only Yeah, <laughs> like, maybe we can do, like, a, our codependent past relationships oh, before we developed enough to find each other. Oh, <laughs> if you want to hear about that, let us know. Yeah, um, I got some more fun stories. Yeah. But there's, like, the person who actually was my first girlfriend, and then there's the person who I say was my first girlfriend, because I'm, like, too embarrassed in, like, most situations to admit how bad my first girlfriend relationship was. Um, but actually, like, the person I will say usually was my first girlfriend, we were really close friends, and mm -hmm. we just kind of, like, um, would just, like, have sleepovers and cuddle in bed and yeah. just got really close, and... We actually went to prom together. Aww. Yeah, I went to her prom at her high school, and that was real cute. Um, yeah. Uh, and we ended up breaking up because she moved. She was in the foster care system and then ended up moving in with family mm. over in California. Oh, so we were like, uh, like first I like didn't hear from her for weeks. Oh, she was like, what the heck happened? And then she calls me. She's like, so I'm living with family now over in California. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but I did have a girl date to prom, and this was, like, that's awesome. would have been, like, 2005, 2006. Yeah, that's pretty. Around then. Yeah, that's pretty, mm -hmm. pretty big deal back then. Yeah, I remember it was, like, really funny, because we were, like, actual dates who, like, actually, like, liked each other, and, like, we were just, like, dancing with each other real respectfully, and then we see these, like, other girls who are supposedly straight girls, like, literally, like, grinding all over each other, and we're just, like... <laughs> Look at us who are, like, actually, like, kind of together. And, like, look at them. Okay. <laughs> Those, like, gay for attention girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of funny, like, seeing that contrast. <laughs> oh, my God. Just like... Say... <laughs> so you're straight, really? Yeah. You're, I mean, maybe they are, and they're just trying to get that attention. But I'm, it was like it was interesting seeing that yeah. contrast, where like for us it was romantic, and right. for them it was just like all about like the lust and everything. Yeah. Um, but I really don't think that like anyone, um, in my family took me too seriously. Mm. Um, until and I honestly didn't even come out to my dad or my sister until in, I was in college. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I so. see that, actually. <laughs> yeah. So I was kind of waited until I was in a serious relationship, um, and I was in, like, a long-term relationship that lasted, I believe, a year and a half. Oh. Um, and so I brought that girlfriend around my family. You know what I mean? I was like, hey, I'm in this, like, long-term situation. I'm going to introduce you to my family. And, um, and, yeah, she got along really well with my family. And at that point, like... There was no question that it was serious, that it, like, like, oh, it's just a phase, it's just, like, you know, a passing thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, I have a actual human that, like, <laughs> I'm in a long-term relationship yeah. with, so there's no denying it at this point. <laughs> yeah, so that's how I came out. I came out, um, and everyone took it well. My mom, like, you know, my mom, like, feeds everyone and yeah, loves them yeah. and, like, invites them. You know, she's really sweet. Um, yeah, she is. And so, yeah, she used to do that, like, with my 
um, first long-term girlfriend, she was just like, oh, here, let me cook you something. And my dad would chat with her, and my sister would compete with her. He's like, no, I have her attention. <laughs> Your sister's so, very uh, competitive yeah, in that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... <sighs> yeah, for the most part, it went well. There were a few, like, future hitches down the road as things, like, got a little bit more serious. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but after, there was no denying it at that point, and they were all were pretty, at first, like, pretty chill about it. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that's my coming out story. And I came out to, like, I remember I came out to my best friend um, in high school, I wrote her, it was a different best friend than the one I kissed. She was still a bestie, too. Uh, <laughs> and I wrote her a note in science class. We were, like, writing notes back and forth. <laughs> and I wrote her a note, like, I think I like girls. And she's like, really? You do? And I was like, yeah, I do. She's like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So um, coming out to my friends was kind of no biggie. They all were yeah. pretty chill and open-minded. They're all geeks. So I feel like the geek community, like, I mean, maybe the geek girl community. I don't know what the geek guy community is like about that. I don't know. What do you think? They're interesting. Because yeah. uh, when I came out to some friends, too, most uh -huh. of my friends are guys. Yeah. And they were like, uh, but you haven't been with a guy. And I'm like, have you been with a guy? No, why would you ask me that? You know, it's just like, because you used to ask me that. Yeah. Yeah, they're a little odd about that. So because it's like, like mixed. Guys that are, for my... When I was hanging out with the geeky guys and stuff, because they're like, you're a geeky girl, geeky guys, like, oh, we wanted to date you. It's just like, yeah, so about that. That could happen. No. Nah. They get, like, they don't like, I do feel guys like in general, though, don't like rejection, so. That's true. And I do feel like part of it has to do with, like, we're already kind of the weirdos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're already, like, walking down the hallway with a book in our hands. We're already, like quoting Lord of the Rings and all kinds of stuff, you know what I mean? Like, everyone already thought we were weirdos, so it's, like, to add just another weird thing to the mix, um, which at the time was a lot more, like, at the time that we grew up, it was a lot more hush-hush, uh, most people oh, yeah, were about absolutely. Being, being gay. But I do, I have a funny, one more funny story. Okay. So, and this is another best friend. I have, like, a multitude of best friends. Hey. But there was this girl who was in my choir class. She transferred in during the year. And she and I just, like, got got along really well. Like, right away. We had this sense that we had something in common, but we didn't know what it was. And we would joke around. She was so funny. We would, like, joke around and shove each other and stuff like that. And um, we were really close friends for a while. And one day at lunch, she comes over to me and she's like, she's like, oh yeah, so this weekend, oh, oh yeah, yeah. And I was like super gothy back then. Okay, that's what it was. I, I used to wear like black all the time. She's like, oh, you wear a lot of black. And I was like, yeah, I do. And she was like, oh, so does my girlfriend. And so that's how she kind of like tried to low key out herself to me. She's like, yeah, so does my girlfriend. And, and I was like, oh, really? And she's like, yeah. Okay, so she got sent away to boarding school because her oh. mom was, like, really religious. Yeah, her <sighs> mom was really religious. So she sent her away to boarding school. Mm -hmm. And um, it was when I was 15 that I had the girlfriend that I pretend wasn't my first girlfriend. That was, like, a really bad one. But it was, like, um, she came back to visit, and we mm -hmm. were hanging out um, at Old Town, this is, like, in Kissimmee, or Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, we were hanging out in Old Town, and we're just walking around having fun, and at some point, I, like, I did the same kind of thing. I, like, low-key mentioned I had a girlfriend. And she's like, you're gay? And I was like, yeah, you know. And she's like, you didn't tell me. We could have dated. And I just gave her this, like, like. And she was like, oh, no, no, you're right. We're, like, best friends. That would be really weird. But I always thought it was really interesting that, like, she and I had that, like, it wasn't romantic, but, like, an instant connection yeah. of, like, we have something in common. Yeah. But we don't know what it is. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> we could have dated. Yeah, that was really funny. And she, like, right away, like, I gave her a face, but I think she also, like, registered, like, what she just said. And then she was like, oh, you're, yeah, that would have been weird. Like, it was kind of like we're bros kind of thing. Yeah, bros. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was super great. But we mostly, like, roughhoused with each other mm -hmm. and just, like, she made me laugh so much because she was so funny. Yeah. 
Did you ever have that kind of situation where you were like, we like have something in common, but I don't know what it is, and it turned out that you were gay? No. Uh, there was like some f- like best ish friends, and we had something like that. However, unlike you two, where it was like, oh yeah, we're bros. Mine was like. We should have gone out. Me, I thought if you like a sex squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like you're cute and all, but I uh, what? That reminds me of like what people would write in their yearbooks. L Y L A S, love you like a sister. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing was is that this is the funny thing about it though because my my best friend's mom she was afraid that I would be after her daughter and I'm just like you're like a sister. Turns out <laughs> like she's after me. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it was so ridiculous because I had other friends in that circle and they were just like, oh yeah, she's asking about all these questions about him. Like, I haven't talked to her in a long time. Like, years passed by. Like, how do you know someone said, like, my name or whatever? And then she told her why. And then she was like, oh, oh it's just all kind of drama that I wasn't even a part of. But yeah, that was kind of awkward. She's mm. like, oh, you like, girl? I'm like, yep. Have you seen me? And then she's like, we could have gone out. I was like, no, 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 that's awkward. Like, no thanks. No. She's like, you don't think I'm pretty? Oh, that too. You don't think I'm pretty? It's like, it's not that. You're just not my type, you know? Oh, my God. Why would you my type? Would I be your type? And you tell them no, you get hit. Oh, girls are, straight girls are interesting. Straight yeah. girls straight are interesting. Girl. And I definitely had a thing where if a, one of my female friends was like hanging out and this guy liked her, pretend, pretend to be my boyfriend. Okay. Yeah, I did. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's like, like a lot taller. I mean, like, yeah, step off, yo. You know? <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Or my favorite. Ah, uh, why can't you just be a guy? Then I can just go out with you. I'm like, why don't you just like girls? There you go. You know? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But, like, again, at that time, it wasn't as accepting. So, yeah. you know. It's kind of interesting, though. A lot of my fem- a lot of my female friends, I was like, oh, my gosh. I pretended to be their boyfriends a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ooh, it was practice. <laughs> It's yeah. like, and some of the guys would back off, and some of the guys were like, oh, come on, prove it. And one time she kissed my cheek, I was like, oh, I what? I was like, oh, that wasn't planned. Uh, I was like, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, those are our coming out so stories. Cute. Yeah, mine is so geeky, isn't it? That's why it's so cute, though. Haruka made you realize. Yeah. I'm like, I have a- kind of, like, mixed feelings about it. Because Haruka, like, I still, like, I'm like... I can see why I would think that she's, like, kind of a hottie. Mm-hmm. But I also am, like, she's, like, not the nicest person. Well, it's very true. So I'm, like, I, then I look at, like, my shitty, <laughs> some of the shitty relationships I had, and I'm, like, is this some kind of, like, uh, <laughs> beginning? And we're, we're still planning on cosplaying them sometime. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Haruka and Michiru. Michiru! Yeah, they're real cute. Um... But yeah, sometimes I like look at them and I have mixed feelings because I'm like, yeah, I can see why I thought she's hot, but like, she's also kind of <laughs> not the nicest and like, not the ideal partner in right. some some relationship ways. We'll have to talk she about She was something. like, yeah, like mainly what I mean by that, like the main thing, yeah, is that she put the cause above the people. Yep, that's yeah. true. Yep, that's very mm-hmm. much what she did. Yeah. But you definitely had some, we'll say for another time, some interesting past relationships. If y'all want to hear about it, I'm not going to, like, come make some video unless people are like, yeah, we want to hear about your, like, codependent past relationships before you found yourself in a really happy, healthy, positive one. So, yeah. 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 Anyway, that's our coming out stories. So, happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month! Yeah. In our area, they don't, like, I think there's some surrounding areas that have Pride Parades. Um, but There's Orlando um, is the closest big city to us. Yeah. And they have their Pride Parade in October. Yes, October so Pride. So you won't be, uh, you won't be getting some video of us out of the Pride Parade or anything anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, unless we go to a further city, which I don't have. Any I think plans Miami's to. having one, but I don't think we want to go there. We're not going there. It's already like a hundred bajillion degrees outside. <laughs> yeah. Imagine what it is over there. Yeah. But anyway, those are our coming out stories. We're gay. Yeah. We told people about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks you all so much for watching. And we look forward co- to connecting with you all again soon. We'd love to stay in touch with you. So please subscribe. And we will be sending you all so much love. Till next time. Ladies. Hey, this is editing Jenny and KB, and actually I wanted to touch on my first 
secret girlfriend that I try not, not like everyone on the internet knows, but usually I pretend that that relationship didn't happen because it was so bad. Um, That's but what I, I do all the time. <laughs> um, but when I first met her, I thought she was a cute boy. I was like, oh, look at that cute boy. Um, and then when we started talking, I pretty quickly realized that she was a girl. And I had that same kind of like moment from when I saw Sailor Moon and Haruka and Sailor Moon. I was just like, oh, she's a girl, but I still think she's cute and I still want to get to know her. Yeah. And she asked me to pretty quickly. She was like, so are you straight, a lesbian, <laughs> bisexual? And like, I had never really, like, I thought, like, oh, maybe I like girls, but I didn't like try to put a label right. on it. Um, and so I was like, oh, I'm bisexual because I was like, whatever it means, like, whatever means that I can talk to you, like, in a, in a like, romantic way is what I am right now. <laughs> How old were you? I was 15. Huh? Well, I was, like, maybe, like, late 14, early 15. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that was, like, my secret first girlfriend. It's a secret. Yeah. Don't know about it. Yeah. 